right, Trojans, it's time to enroll for next school year. All the information you will need will be given to you in this video. So pay close attention. The choices you make now will affect your experience at Topeka High School next year. So please, think through the decisions you make regarding your classes. The first thing you need to keep in mind is the graduation requirements for your class. The language arts classes you must pass are English 9, English 10, English 11, and one semester of speech or acting or any other approved speech credit. Your senior year you must pass one semester of English. However, college-bound students are encouraged to take a writing and literature course during their senior year to meet the Kansas Board of Regents admission requirements. If you would like more information on the Board of Regents requirements, you can visit their website at kansasregents.org and look for qualified admissions. The social studies classes you must pass in order to graduate are uh, World History, U.S. History 1 and 2 and 3, and U.S. Government. You need to pass three credits of math to graduate. One class must be geometry, unless you started at a higher level than geometry. College-bound students are encouraged to consider taking four years of math. If you're unsure of which math class you should take next, ask your current math teacher which course they would recommend for you to take next year. You will need to pass three credits of science, including biology. You also need to pass a PE class, which is normally taken freshman year. Students who take ROTC for at least two years may receive their PE credit that way. Another credit required for graduation is financial literacy. You can complete this credit by taking personal finance, economics, or entrepreneurship. A fine arts credit is also required for graduation. By taking a visual arts, speech arts, or music arts class, you will be completing this credit. High school is a time to explore different areas of interest that will help you prepare for whatever career path you intend to pursue after graduation. You should choose your electives wisely, and you will start gaining knowledge that will lead you towards a career path suitable for you. If you plan on attending college, pay special attention to the Kansas Board of Regents requirements. Visit the Kansas Board of Regents website for more info. Regents schools include KU, Rock Chalk K-State, Fort Hayes State Raw, Emporia State, Pittsburgh State, and Wichita State. Don't wait until your senior year to look at the Board of Regents requirements. Careful planning now will make sure you have the most options when you begin the college admissions process. Students who plan on participating in college athletics must also pay attention to the NCAA eligibility requirements. You can find the requirements at the NCAA Eligibility Center website, ncaa.org. Kansas recognizes students who have certain curriculum requirements as Kansas Scholars. To see if you qualify, look at Kansas Scholars curriculum information on kansasregents.com. Now it is time to take a look at Topeka High School course offerings. Your teacher will now provide you with a course listing handout and a copy of your personal transcript. Take a look at your graduation progress screen to see what credits you still need. These represent classes you must take to finish high school. The first thing you must make note of is any courses you have failed during high school. If the courses were required, you will need to add them to make them up. Be sure they get added to your schedule for next year. You can find these classes and the table for them on the back of your enrollment form. Now, start choosing the classes required for next year. Circle the math classes you plan on taking and be sure you have talked to your math teacher about which classes, you know, are best for you. Next, pick the science class you'd like to take. Now choose the English class required for next year. Finally, select the social studies course you're planning on taking next year.
Now you begin the process of looking at your graduation progress screen and determine other courses you will need to take to graduate to fill in the rest of your schedule. All blanks on the enrollment form must be filled in. The six alternate choices listed at the bottom of page four must be completed. Please note, this is a tentative schedule. Just because this is how it looks on paper doesn't necessarily mean this is the order of your classes for next year. It is important for you to select some courses that reflect your interests, as well as courses that will help you prepare for your future career. Administration is hoping to create a master schedule that utilizes teachers in a way that allows students to receive the classes they want. Please be sure that you are choosing classes that are of actual interest and not just clicking. These selections will be used to create your schedule for next year. Some courses require that another course be taken first, before enrolling. These are called courses with a prerequisite. If you notice that a course has a prerequisite indicated by the letter P on your form, be sure you have taken the prerequisite course listed before enrolling in the desired course. To look at the program of studies, visit the link below. The Counseling Center of the Topeka High website also has a lot of information to help you enroll, so check it out. It is important at this point to keep track of your credits earned as you progress through classes. We look for sophomores to have 6 credits, juniors to have 12, and seniors to have 17. This is the number at the beginning of the school year. If you do not meet these credits, you might not be able to take the fun electives you would like to later on. Make sure the courses you choose to take will allow you to graduate on time and do your best. Please use the websites we're men we've mentioned throughout the video as extra resources in your enrollment at Atlanta educate yourself on how to make the best choice for yourself as you plan your schedule for next year. Good luck and remember, it's a great day to be a Trojan.